Sore throat is a very common ailment, which is usually caused by respiratory viruses and group A streptococcus. These etiologies require a different management approach, however the clinical presentation can overlap and make it very difficult to distinguish between the two. This video lecture will discuss each case separately before comparing them. Viral pharyngitis is characterized by low-grade fever, sore throat, cough, coryza, pharyngeal erythema, and non-tender cervical adenopathy. Additional manifestations that can occur and are suggestive of a viral etiology include hoarseness, conjunctivitis, and diarrhea. Frank exudates can occur with several viral infections, such as adenovirus and with Epstein-Barr virus, and do not in isolation confirm bacterial pharyngitis. Signs and symptoms of severe infection, such as a muffled voice, crepitus, and trismus, should be absent. Apart from testing for coronavirus infection, microbiologic testing is not recommended for patients in which viral etiology is suspected based on clinical presentation. It is important to realize that some patients with viral pharyngitis are colonized with streptococcus species and that throat cultures in the rapid antigen detection test do not distinguish between bacterial infection and colonization. Treatment is symptom-based, such as with lozenges, teas, analgesics, and rest, with adequate maintenance of hydration. Streptococcal pharyngitis is characterized by fever, sore throat, tonsillar exudates, and tender anterior cervical adenopathy. Other common symptoms include difficult and painful swallowing, headache, nausea, fatigue, and abdominal pain. Cough and coryza do not usually occur in patients with strep throat and would suggest a viral etiology. Frank X states are a typical finding, but are not specific to streptococcal pharyngitis as they also occur in patients with infectious mononucleosis, adenovirus pharyngitis, and a variety of other etiologies. The use of a clinical scoring system, such as fever pain or center score, as well as rapid antigen detection tests and culture, can help identify which patients would most likely benefit from antimicrobial treatment. Test of cure, however, is not routinely indicated. The antibiotic of choice is phenoxymethylpenicillin. Antibiotics are given to prevent the spread of infection and to prevent a variety of superative and non-superative complications. While effective in preventing rheumatic fever, antibiotics have not been shown to prevent the development of post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Now let's briefly compare these two conditions. Findings suggestive of a viral etiology include cough, coryza, conjunctivitis, and diarrhea. Tonsillar exudates are commonly present in streptococcal pharyngitis, and while not a pathognomonic finding, they are usually absent in cases of viral pharyngitis. Tender anterior cervical adenopathy is a sign of streptococcal pharyngitis, while lymphadenopathy is usually penis and viral pharyngitis. And finally, streptococcal pharyngitis should be confirmed with either a rapid antigen detection test or culture, while ancillary testing is generally not indicated when the etiology is viral.